Hello, in uh, this video I'm going to be showing that the differential of a scalar function is equal to the, the gradient of the scalar function dotted into a differential displacement and we're going to show that this is equal to this is what we want to show the partial This is what we want to show. Okay, so this right here, the gradient of the scalar function, it's defined as the partial of this scalar function with respect to x super alpha e super alpha dotted into our differential displacement, which is going to be dx beta e sub beta, and this is a covariant basis and this is a contravariant basis or the one form basis and these are scalars so we can move these around it's not going to affect okay, so we get the partial of phi respect to x alpha we're going to pull this out in front, dx super beta, and we're, getting, we're going to dot this contravariant basis vector into this covariant basis vector. And right here, this is our chronic or delta, where when they're equal, it's equal to 1, and when they're not equal, it's equal to 0. So this is going to give us a partial of b with respect to x super alpha, dx super beta, and the Kronecker delta alpha beta. And this is going to kill all the terms that are not equal to alpha, so this dx super beta is going to become a dx super alpha. There you go. So we've showed that our differential of a scalar function is equal to partial of phi with respect to x super alpha dx alpha and this is by pure calculus. And Maybe I can show in another video how this would look in, with, uh, with the real example. And there is a summation here because we got a, a sub alpha is a lower indice and alpha is a upper indice. And it's an implied summation. Um, this is known as the Einstein summation notation.